everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and this month we are doing a series called Better Baked, where I show you recipes that are, well, better baked than fried. So stay tuned to see the first recipe, which will be a chicken katsu that is baked. Alright, welcome back. So in front of me, I have the few ingredients that you're going to need to make this baked chicken katsu. So first off, you have your, of course, the chicken breast. I've cut it um, die, or in half so that they're very, very thin pieces. And then also I have some flour over here, um, an egg that I have already scrambled up, or not scrambled up, stirred up. And then over here, I have panko crumbs. Now, if you're not familiar with panko crumbs, they are just a Japanese breadcrumb. That's it. It's just a different type of breadcrumb. But what I've done with this panko crumb is I've added black pepper and a little bit of uh, salt, and then also some sesame seeds, and I'll show you guys the spice blend that I added to this. It's called Shishimi Togarashi. It's a Japanese seven spice blend that you can find at any kind of Asian or international store. So I've also added that to the panko crumbs. And now it's like any kind of station where you just take your chicken breast, you first dunk it in flour to just kind of make it not as uh, wet. And then you dump it in some, your egg mixture, and then your panko crumbs. And I use gloves it's just so I don't have to get all messy and I have one hand that's clean and one hand that gets dirty. All right, and then you just shake off all the extra panko. And then I've got an aluminum tray here lined with, um, well, aluminum. <laughs> and, then, oh, and then I have sprayed it with some Pam. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna keep going with this. And then at the end, I'm gonna spray it just with some Pam um, on the top so that the top can get nice and crispy. So I will show that once I am done. All right, so all my chicken is done and nicely coated. I'm gonna take some of my Pam spray now and just coat the top so the top gets nice and crispy. And now I have my oven preheated. It's already went off at 400 degrees and I'm gonna just pop this in for about 20 minutes. And then halfway through, maybe 10 minutes in, you're just going to rotate your pan. So I will show you when this is all done. All right, these just came out of the oven. They look delicious. So my favorite part, I'm gonna taste test. I will add that I did broil these after the 20 minutes for about five minutes, so. All right. Okay, it's gonna be really hot. Mmm, nice and crunchy. You don't miss out on the crunch like when you fry it. All right, so if you guys like things that are baked versus fried, please continue watching this entire month. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share. And as always, live life tastefully balanced. Hi everyone, wait, 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 hold on. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam and this 